Oh boy, time to fight a pig man. Well, one o'clock. No time like the present. I believe it's going to start me in the ship. Yeah. Alright, so... Oh, I don't have the hyper beam anymore. Well, that's no fun. All right, so basically, I just need to get to Hyrule at this point, so. I lost a single point of health from taking damage. Alright, back to Hyrule. Uh, ideally I would have liked to stop and, stop and get more hearts, but I kind of... Hit the wrong button. Alright, just to be sure... Okay. I have... a whole bunch of potions so that when I get up to the top of the tower in that really annoying room, I should be alright. Do you have any pots that I can break for hearts? You do have a pot, but it doesn't have hearts. <sighs> All right, well, it's fine. I know where to find at least one fairy on the way up, which will give me some hearts back. Probably not all of them, but no, because I think fairies only eight hearts. So I need to put the mirror. No hearts from you either. Fine, be a jerk. Ah! I was very confused as to why there was a skull under a bush. There we go, some hearts.
Excuse me, little mans. You are... You are a nuisance. So... Don't with you. That's right, I need the hammer to get past this. Ow. Let's you and you go sit down somewhere and leave me alone. Can I sneak past you? No. Alright, I, I just don't want to deal with any of these little mans today. And I only took one hit. Two hits. Hit by a rock, hit by a little man. Could have been worse. It's not even worth checking those for hearts, because there are none. There never are. I don't know if that's a thing with the game or a thing with my luck. Aha! Mirror shield too strong for Lionels. But they still do a lot of damage if you touch them. Alright, here we go. Ganon's Tower. We can just head straight on in and straight on up. All the way up to the sixth floor. This is kind of a waste of magic powder, but ow. But that. So I hit the right button. Little magic. That's a treat. Oh, they're immune to that. Done. Now I have to figure out how to get this man's in a place where I can effectively shoot him. Ow. That didn't help at all. Got him. Time to get out of there before I get hit again. Uh, not a fan of this room much either. I don't like you, Mr. Mans. Didn't want it to have to come to that, but you made you forced my hand. All right, cool. Minimal damage taken. Technically two hits, but covered hard. Ah! 
Still don't know what's in that room to the south. Alright. That went surprisingly well. That was much closer than that. Ow. Freaking Beemos. special kind of hell this area was. Ow. Okay, special kind of hell escaped. I think, yeah, because now it's the when Mola boss fight. Rocks coming out of the ground hurt. Right, that was a bigger loss of hearts than I'm happy with. But it's okay, still got the potions. St ah, no! forgot about this room. <sighs> oh crap, this is the first waste of my magic. Okay, good. Good. Got out of that without much issue. Excuse me! Ah, that's not the item I want. Okay. I mean, if it kills him, it kills him. Oh, shot too early. Damn it. Okay, that, that's fine. That that is oh. Okay. Ow. And none of these men drop anything. They're all rude. Uh. All right. Here is. Oh, really? Really? There's aggravating torch lighting room number one. I can get from this room. Uh, that big magic might have been more helpful to wait. Alright, I I just want to watch the pattern on this. Ow. Alright, that was much more damage than I'm happy with taking.
Yes! Oh, thank you. Ow. Hey, the regular boomerang. I'll take a regular boomerang. I'll take being out of that heckin' room. Oh, actually, what I should take is, uh... A sip of juice. Because I do not want to do that a second time. We're almost there. Okay, bomb doesn't move on conveyor belt now. There we go. Bring that guy over. Alright, what fresh nonsense is going on in here? Nothing that I have to be concerned with. No. No! Oh, no! <laughs> ah! Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god Golden Sword makes short work for this man. Wait, there's another staircase over here. Strange. Strange, but dealt with. Oh, if you fall down, it's a completely separate room. Okay. I'm not going to go exploring. Ow. I'm just, I'm just leaving. All of you can stay here in your spiky conveyor belt icy room all you'd like. Um, ultimately, I don't think I need the silver arrows for this fight. I think this is just an Aghanim fight. It is. Okay. Basically, what I need to do here is track which one is the real boy. And throw his... Ow. Attacks back, like... Throw the attacks back, like, the first time. Except this time, they don't always throw the same projectile, so I might end up getting... the stupid split ball. makes things difficult. Damn it. Ah, I was hoping I could get that last one back at him. Let's just not take the hit.
Angles are weird. Oh, that one would have hit him. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, scaredy cat pig man. We know. And somehow, just this once, you can teleport in the dark world. The duck will come and pick you up. I have been delivered. Uh, one of these has a fairy fountain. This is... I think I can just talk to the fairy. Get some health. I, I did, yes. That is my bottle. I wanted hearts. I mean, I guess now I have two green potions. Not that I want green potions. <laughs> Alright, fine. We don't have to do the tower anymore, that's the important part. Just any time I teleport to the Dark World, I, can, I just appear here and can fight him. Thanks for dropping in. The first passengers in a hot air balloon were a duck, a sheep, and a rooster. Now oh, that did not... Ah! Okay, I can hit him with the sword. But it doesn't take damage from arrows yet. So we just... Play this slow. Even though if I'm remembering correctly, the part that always gets me is uh, towards the end when the floor starts to crumble. Hmm, don't like this thing. Ah, fire bats. So if I've learned anything from recently beating Samus Returns, it's that corners are good places to hide. Corners are very good places to hide from big AoE attacks like that. Nope, get a hit please. Thank you. Uh, fire bats. These fire bats seem slightly distracted, like they don't know exactly where they're going, but that's fine. Yeah. Aha! Snuck in on you that time. Nope, still immune to silver arrows. I don't like it. Quit being immune to silver arrows. Take damage. Okay, this is the collapsy floor bit that I don't like. Ah, ah. Juice, please. Okay, there, we're good. Alright, I need to just hit him now. Find the arrows in the light world. Yes, I did. Oh, is this the part where I can't see him without 
torch is being lit? Yes. Ah! Wasn't quick enough. No! It's all coming down to this frustration. Do it? Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god, after all these years, I've finally beaten Link to the Past in the most obtuse backwards way possible. Oh. <sighs> I did it. It's the Triumph Forks. Done. Comment law. Oh. Did it. The puppy saved the world. It's all over. Oh. And you know, if I had if I'd been able to do it that fast last week, I could have just finished this up in time. <laughs> how fast we did it today. I've actually never gotten to see this before. Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of time, plus coming into it without being incredibly frustrated like I was last week. You know, I feel like they didn't even bother really giving that mountain dude a normal person sprite. He just has a pumpkin for a head all the time. I'm also surprised that the randomizer version of this doesn't have silly credits as well, but... I mean, I'm happy with that because, like I said, this is the first time I've ever actually seen the credits for A Link to the Past. I feel like I should pull out my, my Game Boy and finally finish Link to the Past, finish that last fight now. It's just kind of a little bit of a shame that the, the randomizers remove the story, I guess because of the order things happen in, but 
Huh. There's dwarves in Hyrule. That's a short-lived thing that I don't think came up in any other game. There he is. The lost old man. Old man, how did you get up there? There are no paths. You have to traverse through a different world to get there. And the Master Sword sleeps again. Forever. It's the wrong color, though. Also, I just now realized that I have the wrong scene up for this, but it doesn't... I guess it doesn't quite matter so much, considering there was nothing new to track. actually does keep track of the fact that I've beaten both games. I would have just gone and beaten Mother Brain again, because that fight's easy. At least for me. It's a Zelda fight that's a pain. Uh, this very well could be Star Fox music for all I know. No, but come on. Star Fox music makes a good credits scene for, for the randomizer. It's sci-fi and slightly animal-y. And I was playing as a puppy. <laughs> uh. Cool, some stats. Six hundred and fifty six door translations. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, I wasn't counting at the time, otherwise, I probably would have. Two hours to find the sword. Two hours to find the sword. That is ridiculous. And then all of my boss kills were with the level 3 and level 4 swords. <laughs> oh. Exactly 99 bucks. Nice. He died 16 times. I don't think I died at all in Super Metroid. hours. Collected 286 items. That wasn't even all of them. I can't. Just stuck on the screen till reset, I guess. Um, wow, that took so much less time than I anticipated. Um, I guess a sort of final thoughts on the randomizer. It's it's definitely a lot of fun. Definitely an interesting challenge because the nature of the randomizer itself and the transitions between Link to the Past and Super Metroid just give you sequence breaking paths that you wouldn't ordinarily have. Uh Having the map is probably the thing that got me through it. If I didn't have the tracker map, I definitely wouldn't have been able to find my way through to find the items that I did. 
which I had a higher item collection percentage in this than I ever have in either game. I know in Link to the Past I've never had 19 hearts or 4 bottles or... I think I've had everything else, though. Because most of the other items in Link to the Past are mandatory. Like, you need two of the medallions, you need the silver arrows, and if you know how to get the silver arrows, you know how to get the um, red boomerang. You know, I know how to get the tempered sword and the golden sword. So I always had those. Uh, it's definitely weird playing the game so out of order, though. I'm so used to that linear progression and not having some parts of that linear progression really bit me in the ass, like not having the mirror shield or having the red mail going into Ganon's tower. Um, maybe if I had more practice with the game or was slightly better, I could have overcome those uh, deficiencies, but, you know, this wasn't meant to be a speed run, obviously, with 12 and a half hour time, but I I feel like I feel like 12 and a half hours for a casual play isn't awful. Uh, I'm tempted just to play Super Metroid on its own now to see if I can get another sub five hour time. I feel like I should be able to. I actually know that game and its mechanics fairly well. Not to mention the fact that I have it on like seven different consoles at this point, but uh, given how much time is left in the in my usual Sunday time slot, um, let's find something something else little to play.